In this week's Tablet Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use the set action to maintain the rank of a dimension member. Let's take a look what I'm talking about. I'm going to start by just building a simple view that is sales by subcategory. And I want to go ahead and put the rank of the sales on the label shelf. So I'm just going to wrap this in a rank. Okay, and you'll see I now have my rank on my labels. Very good. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I'm going to make these a bit wider so we can see them a bit better. Uh, what I want to be able to do now is I want to be able to click on one of these and have it filter the view to just that subcategory, but also keep, in this case, the rank of two. So what happens when you uh, if, when you tr do a traditional filter with subcategory, for example, let's keep an eye on chairs. So right now chairs is ranked number two, or let's look at something different. Let's look at machines. It's ranked number six. So if I filter my subcategory down to, to machines, you'll see it resets it to one. That's because of Tableau's order of operations. So Tableau applies a dimension filter before it computes a table calculation. So in other words, we're filtering to our machines and then we're trying to calculate the rank of machines, but machines is the only thing in the view, so it has to be rank one. So we can fix that with the set action. So I'm going to create a new uh, set well, based on subcategory. So right click on set, go to create, and then set. And I'm just going to call this my subcategory set. And for now, I'm going to pick all. And uh, actually, why don't I just pick machines and hit OK. And I'm going to put that on color, but I'm also going to stick it up here in my rows. OK, so uh, first off, I need to fix my table calculation because I want to make sure that it uses both dimensions. And it is. OK, that's good. And notice how our, um, our set is now using the value of 6. OK, great. So what I'm going to do from here is uh, let's see what happens when I put on a worksheet action. So I'm going to add a worksheet, uh, change set values action. I'm going to call this update subcategory. Set. And I'm going to start by making it a hover action, and I'll show you why in a second. And after they, um, or sorry, I want to make it a menu action, and I want to add all set values afterwards. Okay, so now if I go to storage and I click on my hover action, you'll see storage is now um, uh, storage is now ranked number three. And what I want to do, I actually need to change my action real quick. And I actually wanted it to keep the set values for now. So let's hit OK, because when I click off, I want it to still say in and out. So the trick to maintaining the rank for copiers in the view, uh, so the idea is I only want to show copiers, but I want it to retain the rank of eight. So I'm going to right click on my out of my subcategory and choose hide. And now I can go ahead and take my, I can take my, um, uh, my set off of the rows completely. So, and now if I change my action, so if I click on update set category, it still does the same thing. So I need to go back into my actions and I'm going to change my action to a select and I want to add all set values. Hit OK, hit OK again. And now when I click off of it, I get all values back. So let's keep an eye on machines this time. So machines is rank six. What happens when we click on that? It still says rank six. If I click on art, it still says art. Now, if I pick multiple ones, so let's say I pick uh, like a few of them, then you'll see, you'll see it still maintains the rank of those few. So we're doing that through that trick of showing and hiding the values in the, uh, in the set. So hopefully you found that useful. There are lots of use cases for this. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment and we'll get back to you. Have a good day.